Howdy folks, I'm Richard Gene the Fishing Machine here. And what we're going to do today, I've had some requests about catfishing videos. And uh, when we started this channel, we said we was uh, going to aim to please, and that's what we're going to do. We're way out here in the middle of nowhere, out in the middle of the woods. I'm fixing to do an old technique that my daddy showed me years ago, and it's called fiddling worms. Now you can see right here we're in a hardwood area, meaning a lot of hardwood trees. I've cut down a small sapling, and we're going to use a dull handsaw. That's the key to getting these, these big worms. They're huge, and we call them fiddle worms here in North Alabama, that come up out of the ground. What happens is this. When I saw down at an angle with this handsaw, it causes the whole ground to vibrate and shake. After a few minutes, if you're in the right location, you're going to see some snakes come out of the ground. <laughs> That's right. They're so big here in North Alabama that they look like snakes. Let's see if we can fiddle a few up. Best catfish bait I know for flatheads, channel cat, and blue cat. Let's see what we can do. They can't stand the vibration. There comes another one. That vibration in the ground makes them come out. And you talking about some good catfish bait, boy. There it is. All right, look at the worms we got right here. I want y'all to look how big these worms are right here. Let me hold them in my hand here. That's what we got. It took us a while to do it account of the drought last year, but we done it. Then we got a bunch of them. Now what we're going to do is take them to the river, and I'm going to show you a Tennessee River tactic. It's an old tactic, and it's really almost forgotten, okay? Let's go in the water. Okay, here we are at the lake. And uh, let's rig us some of these fiddle worms on here. You can see these is huge worms right here. Now I like to use, what I'm using right here is a three-alt circle hook made by Eagle Claw. They're called Seagar. Now on a fiddle worm, I only hook, hook him up about twice. Okay, I want a big bait because in here are some big channel cat and there's also some big flathead catfish and an occasional blue cat, but you can see how big that bait is. Uh, matter of fact, I'm going to put one more. That's three fiddle worms on here and I'm doing it in hopes there's some big flathead in here too because they love fiddle worms i like a big beefy bait you can see how big that is in say comparison to my hand now i'm not using any weight it's a technique that i've used for years it's a real rocky area out here about a cast about 50 foot I'm in about 10 feet of water, folks, and uh, as dense as those worms are, it's going to fall to the bottom pretty quick, uh, probably 14, 15 seconds. And in rocky areas like this, you're better off, in my opinion, without any weight. Okay, let's see what we can do. See what type of catfish we're going to hook up with. Maybe a channel maybe a blue and it could be an appaloosa or a flathead elmo i think i got a bite <laughs> i know i did <sighs> there he is now on a circle hook get this fish up here that fish is pulling pretty good He's caught up in some rocks, but I think I can get him out. But on the circle hook, if you noticed, 
all I done was start reeling. If you don't, if you jerk, you'll definitely miss the fish. You're, you're lucky if you get a hook in him. This is not a real big catfish, but it's fighting. Pretty good, he had to have them. <laughs> there he is. It's a small channel cat, or I say small. It's small compared to what's in here, but here he is. Come on up here. Yeah, nice little fish. And uh, there he is. He's got a mouthful of circle hooks. Now I'm gonna tell you what happened right here. Usually on a circle hook, the hook's design is to catch the fish right in the corner of the mouth. What I done is I let the fish run a little bit too long. Let's get a good shot of this fish. He's doing some squeaking. So when that happens, the best thing to do is cut your line. Okay. I'm going to cut it pretty close here and release the fish. In three or four days, that hook will dissolve. The chemicals in his body will dissolve the hook, and he'll be fine. No harm done. I'm going to let him have them fill of worms. Let's let him go, and let's try to catch a flathead. I hope they're in here. It may be a little bit early, but we're going to turn this fish loose. But uh, catfish, when they hit a bait, <laughs> they want to swallow it okay so your timing is in critical even with a circle hook okay let's make another cast out there and uh let's catch another one elmer well folks this beats all i've ever seen i'm going to hand line the fish in right here it's, i'm glad it's not a big catfish but my real handle broke let's see what we got right here i'm hand lining him in <laughs> this is probably the first time this has ever happened to me it's not a very big catfish but there he is what about that still got him but see all right let's now this is what i've been this is what i want you to see right here see how the circle hook got him got him right right here where you can get him out let me get some pliers and how to remove a circle hook is real simple. You grab it right back here as far as you can in the bend. If he'll open his mouth. Okay. And just turn the hook. And just, ah, uh, yeah, just turn the hook like that and it's done. That's how you're supposed to hook them. There's a pretty little old catfish. Not what we're after, but there he is. Okay, let's let him go but i brought two reels with me so i'm gonna have to use one reel and rod for this segment but that's okay me and elmer can do it we've done it before okay let's catch another one okay we got we got one right here running let's see if it's a catfish He's tightening up, tightening up, tightening up, real. Yeah. That's all you do with a circle hook. I can't tell how big this fish is. I don't think he's that big, but he was tangled up in those rocks. A lot of rocks out here. If I hadn't put a little bit better fish than what we've been catching, I believe it's a blue cat, small blue cat. All right, that species number two. Two channel cats and a blue cat. Okay. Let's get down here and get this fish. That's a pretty fish right there. For eating catfish, in my opinion, you really don't want one to get down here much bigger than this one. See, that's a beautiful fish. Fiddle worms is a great way to catch them. It's not uh, too many people fiddle with worms anymore, or not around here. 
that's an old technique for getting these type of worms up out of the ground i really don't know what kind of worms they are but let me reach in here and get my needle nose pliers see if we can release this fish this is a pretty fish circle hook right in the corner of the mouth okay and there he is that's a beautiful fish right here on guntersville lake it's a small blue just right to eat a lot of fun on this light tackle by the way i'm just using 15 pound test line let's release this fish okay you see that <laughs> a lot of fun a lot of fun folks something anybody can do these bank video requests are really tickling me to death it brings back a lot of memories from when i was a kid I think we got a bite. Where is that fish at? There he is. He hit it and come straight to me. Come out of eight foot of water there, Elmo. And then come towards the bank. Now this is a little better fish. Or it feels like it. Now I'm fishing real light, folks. I'm fishing 15 pound test line. That's considered light for catfish. And the rod is about a medium. And this fish is giving me a fit. Medium action rod. And it feels like a channel, but it, I'm not sure. <clears throat> you talk about fat now, murmur, rammer. I'll tell you what. This fish is cutting the rug right here. Now, catfish can fight. There's no doubt they're a sporty, gamey fish. And they're starting to come in right in here and lay eggs. That's what we're doing right here. We're focusing on about 8 to 10 feet of water in uh, rocky areas. And let's see if we can land this fish. Now, they're real stout. You know, catfish is... Qu quit that. And that's a pretty good channel cat right there. <sighs> All right, let me get up here and see if we can unhook this fish. I always carry a pair of needle nose pliers with me when I'm fishing for these dudes. Okay. Get these circle hooks out. Now that hook caught this catfish just right right in the jaw and yeah i grab I'm having a little trouble holding this fish that's why i'm doing all this grunting they're real stout and just twist it out that way and that's the easiest way to get a circle hook out just catch it by the bend the inside bend there's a good fish Good. I can't believe how hard them little catfish is hit. When they hit it, they try to take your rod. I've been opening my bell, but that time I didn't. That's the second time I've almost lost my rod. Now, Elmer, I was thinking about Elmer eating them beans and taters. I tell you, this catfishing is fun. I tell you what. And things fight with this t light tackle. Having a ball right here. I'm wanting to catch a big one. Now last year I caught some real big, big ones, but it was later on in the year. I believe I'm a little bit early. These are the early fish, but we'll see. That fish is doing some fight. Gosh. That's another channel cat. Quite a bit bit bigger than the last one I caught but let's get him up here if I can they're so stout <laughs> I'm used to handling crappie I'm actually I fish for crappie year long and um, I'm proud that I'm starting to do this 
kind of stuff. This is stuff I've always done when I was a kid, and I just thought I'd start back. Now, that's a pretty good channel. Get him right over here and look at him. Doggone trash. I wish people wouldn't throw trash on the bank, but that's a different show. Gunnersville Lake's beautiful, and I don't know why they want to trash it up that way. I was thinking about that a while ago, and I kind of... There's that circle hook. Let me shut up. Here, There's that circle hook in his jaw. Now, just grab it right there on the bend and twist it. Now, the reason why I'm, I keep showing that is because a lot of people... Now, this fish right here is stout. I mean, this fish right here might go about three pound, two and a half, three pound probably. Uh, and hard to hold. Let's let him go. He wants to get back in the water, and I had a lot of fun right there. There he goes. Got him back. Oh. Yeah, Ollie. I went to a different part of the rip route right here, and I hadn't been here five minutes. And I've done got a catfish on. Until it is. Rolling, twisting. Look at that. What a fish. Now that's a little better grade fish right here. There, Elmer. Now, you told me the only thing I could catch was crappie, not catfish, but you're wrong. I've been on this river so long, I know where they're at. Golly, that fish is fighting, folks. I better quit messing with Elmer right now. Now, he watches my videos, but now he just can't make yourself get out here and do this. That's a good good channel cat right here. Let's see if we can slide him in between these two rocks and land him. Get out of this old rough. I don't want to wedge him. Let's see here. There, I caught a wave. <laughs> Let's get down in here and get him. Tell you, I'm having a ball. I enjoy putting these videos out. They're a lot of work, a lot of effort, but now I love fishing. Now look at there, what a channel cat. That, hope the camera's getting him. That's a beautiful fish right there. Uh, let's get that hook out. There's a bat. Yep, got another one right here. Or that wind. It don't make no difference. That fish is fighting. Real good. Uh, go fishing when you can. Look at that fish out there. Because it's good for you. Now, I mean that. It's been some rough weather out here, folks. I'm having fun now. But I'm fixing to have to leave. We have to go to work tomorrow. There's another channel cat here on Gunnersville Lake. Okay. Now, Elmer wanted me to keep two, so I'm going to keep him two. Because Elmer uh, can't clean fish, but I'll have to skin these for him. I like Elmer. And uh, let's see if we can get this fish. It hooked him right in the bottom of the jaw. Channel cat. Okay. Uh, that fish is full of eggs right there. So, yeah, they're moving in. Tennessee River catfish. Let's get this hook out. That's why you need to go fishing when you can. Ooh, I'm telling you, 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 I'm telling you,